Hi, this is the module on fundamental concepts. In this module, we will look at number systems, microcontroller design, and instruction set architecture. Okay. Okay, so let's um, first ask ourselves, what is an embedded system to you, John? An embedded system is the combination of electrical, chemical, mechanical, optical, computer, software, all combined for a dedicated purpose. And we're going to, in this class, add one more requirement, and that is an embedded system is going to have a computer embedded inside. Okay, so it sounds like what you're saying is everything in engineering is a system. And so it's, it's either a system or it's an interface between systems. So embedded systems seem to embody both these aspects. They are systems and you have interfaces that interface these systems. That's correct. Okay, so let's look at some uh, sample embedded systems. All right, let's begin with my favorite. Uh, here are a couple of pacemakers. Hopefully you don't have these, uh, but this would uh, be embedded inside the body and it helps your heart beat at a regular rate. Inside here is a computer, uh, software that runs that computer, mechanical catheters, uh, chemical reactions between the catheter and the body, a battery with chemistry in it, all combined for the dedicated purpose to help us live longer. Okay, so here is an embedded system that is more familiar to some of you. It's a computer inside but the identifying feature of this is that it has switches, all kinds of switches to, to control the behavior. Uh, and you have an LCD display, which is a black and white LCD display, and it runs on batteries. My rule about finding an embedded system in your life is to look for things that run on electricity. Take them apart and then look for the computer inside. This, as you can see, is a hard drive. And in here are mechanical parts which rotate, electrical parts which um, control the motor, and optical parts to read and write data from the disk. Here is another embedded system. Now, this is an uh, embedded um, system which prime is used primarily to probe, uh, use these probes to detect voltages at uh, different different inputs in your on your testing device and uh, what it allows you to do is to monitor the uh, the conditions of the operation of any system uh, that you're testing uh, again the the characteristic is that it has a rich interface that is a lot of probes that allow you to track information I got another one. Motors. Oh, oh nice. look at that. Yeah, if you ever want to control stuff, you need motors. So an embedded system, again, has components. So there's a component over here, a component over there, and an interface between the two which allow it to run. Again, this is a motor controller, and obviously this system would then be placed in a bigger system, a robot, an industrial robot, and then this system would be then placed in a larger system like an industrial robot. And the idea is embedded systems are built for doing things that humans want done. Okay, so let's um, look at a, a little a more sophisticated system. Here's All right, a, wait a minute, um, Professor Yerobali. We're not having any fun here yet. Okay, let's take something apart. Yeah, come on, let's, let's take something apart. This is a popular embedded system. Uh, what, you, what you see here is an iPod that's been taken apart. Uh, uh, we took out the hard drive so that we can look at the guts of this machine. And what we see here is a set of processors. Um, an embedded system may have multiple processors that do various functions. And, and it has, a, again, a display. Uh, an interface which is a clicker interface 
and what you also see is a onboard battery that allows the such a system to be operated for long periods of time without being hooked to a power source. This is a game controller. Let's take it apart. I've removed the screws to allow access inside. So we take off the front. Parts go flying, it's all right. <laughs> Don't need this. What we're looking for is the microcontroller inside this fun thing. Okay, don't need that. And on this side, we see some switches. And on this side, the electronics. And right there in this little black dot under there is the microcontroller. And again, an embedded system combines mechanical, electrical, power to perform a duty that we all want. Light sensors on this. Yeah, sensors, accelerometers, all sorts of fun things uh, for us to use.